a k dagger a l dagger if you operate on this you will get a one particle state one particle state so you will have you can generate higher energy states out of the vacuum state through a linear superposition of these various creation operators right so uh, like this you can do this if this is in your bosonic uh, bosonic oscillator and you can you can construct n particle states following the same procedure okay you can construct the construct the n particle states now and here one more thing that is even more important to remember was that the uh, was that this state Uh, uh, should have a positive definite norm, and so I consider a state A n. Uh, you can put k here, k here, k here, and k here. All right. So this would be n k, uh, n k, and a k dagger. This is the first part. Okay, and this is a k. And k, and this is equals to n k, and this is capital n k n k, and this then gives me n k n k. So n k little n k is the eigenvalue of this operator capital n k. Okay, so here. What you get is n k times n k n k. This is delta k k. This is equal to k. And this be this is the norm of the state. It has to be. Positive definite, and this implies that n k is greater than or equal to zero, and in particular, it can have value zero, one, two, three, all the way up to infinity. So, what it means that uh, infinitely large number of identical particles could stay in the same quantum state. Now, we will see. As soon as we go to the fermionic oscillator, these are the main characteristics of this bosonic oscillator. And as soon as we go to the fermionic oscillator, this will now drastically change the eigenvalues uh, of this capital N k. The number operator would now be restricted. There will be only two eigenvalues, zero and one. Okay, for fermionic oscillator, we derive it. Right, it's a very short derivation, but conceptually it's very meaningful and very important. So, uh, if you like, I can remove all this, and we have to write down the analogous algebra for the fermionic modes. Okay. So, assuming right now we have assumed whatever is written here, all annihilation, creation, number operator, all of them are bosonic. Okay. And obviously, they originate originally from the simple commutation relations of x and p is from non-relativistic quantum mechanics. Okay, but for uh, for fermionic oscillator, there is no such basis. There is no such uh, uh, ground from the from quantum mechanics. So uh, we would now impose that our uh, if I could denote them by the same symbols, but I would postulate that they do not commute, but they anti-commute. Okay. So uh, what I would do is, <coughs> uh, now let me make use of the other pen. So, so all right. This would still have the same definition. The number operator would still have the same definition, even if a and a dagger are fermionic. But by postulating 
these anti commutation relations for A and A dagger. So, this is what we say. So, we postulate. Huh? We postulate that they obey anti commutation relations instead of obeying the commutation relations. Alright? So, they obey this and this and this. This is still okay. And you can find that this still holds true. And this also holds true. But this no longer holds true. Okay. So, uh, this would still hold true. This would still hold true. All right, but now uh, we have to see one thing in particular that if we this in particular would imply a k square equals to zero, and this would imply. Uh, let me just for the sake of formality, a b is a b plus e a and a b is so this is the communication relation and okay this, just for the sake of completeness that this is your commutation relation and this is your anti commutation relation this is how you define so we define uh, this to be equal to this this to be so here we postulate that let my a and a dagger be fermionic and let them obey anti commutation relation and then i want to see what happens to my system Okay, that's the, that's the idea. So, uh, in particular, uh, a square, or if you like, a k a l plus a l a k would be zero. So, if you put k equals to l, a k square is zero, and a k dagger square is also zero. And now, uh, these things is still the same. Let me create some space here. All right. Now let me consider a product of n k square. What would this be? N k dagger, a k dagger, a k times a k dagger, a k. Okay. Now here I want to make use of this relation. Okay. Uh, let me call them A, B, C. So I use A. Okay. And then this would be A k dagger into 1 minus Is this okay? Yes. So this is one minus this, and now this is a k dagger times a k minus a k dagger a k dagger a k a k. So this is zero, and this is also zero, and this is equal to n of k. So what I obtain is n of k square is equal to n of k. n of k square is n of k. Or I can write n of k square minus n k equals to 0. Alright? I shift 
both of them to one side, then this is nk square minus nk square minus. Now what I want to do is on this last result, I want to apply n of k square minus n of k and I want to apply this state. n of k and this should also be 0. Right? This much bar 0. So even if I operate this on the state vector n k then also this should be 0. And now what do I get? H, this is uh, n k square I can simply write it as this because my n of k this is by definition okay it holds true for bosonic as well as fermionic oscillators both so this is my this is the eigenstate of this operator with the eigenvalue nk. This is the eigenstate of this operator with this eigenvalue. And this holds true also for the fermionic case. Alright. So I have